Hello, today I'm going to show you how the structural SOLIDWORKS model can be linked with uh, one of the most popular analysis and design software called SAP2000. Many of the structural engineers use this software for an analysis of the simple and very complex structural compositions. Now any type of the structural design in SOLIDWORKS can be linked for analysis in SAP using special features which are provided by SOLIDWORKS add-in BuildWorks. Ok, let's start and open the model. Here we have a model created using SOLIDWORKS, adding BuildWorks features, as you can see here, and the feature manager design tree. Now from the BuildWorks toolbar, due to export to the analysis and design software, we use BuildWorks exports feature and we choose to export this model, this structural composition to the CIS2 format. This format is the best for the exporting analysis data to the analysis and design software. Here we can name our exported CIS2 STP file. Let's say we name it as a analysis STP file. Here, since we are exporting to analysis and design software, we need to mark this option here. And our structure, as I mentioned, is created from the BuildWorks features, uh, BuildWorks members. So we usually choose this option here. We are exporting all the structure and under map file selection here we need to browse for the correct map file here we, we choose CIS2 profile map to SAP2000 ok now we can simply click ok and our structure is going to be exported here the system prompts me to open the exported STP file. I can open it and see uh, if everything is uh, ok, everything is correct. The exported CIS2 file is located in the same directory as the model. So it can be easily found from the Windows Explorer. It usually by default being located in the CIS2 file folder. Now we can translate this CIS2 file to VRML for review purposes and for that I'm going to launch the SteelWiz application. Ok, now I'm going to browse for the model for the exported CIS2 Let's open it. On the browsers, I'm going to use the Instant Player Viewer for the exported VRML file. Now, I need to click Translate and Display button, and the CS2 file is going to be translated to VRML. Here opens the translation report. And we can see the profiles exported, uh, the length of the members, the weight, also the total weight, and our useful information. And here is our structure translated to the RML. This kind of functionality can be used for review purposes. Now we continue with the 
import of this CIS2 STP file to SAP2000. Okay, the SAP2000 is launched and simply from the file menu import to dialog I need to choose to import the CIS2 STP file. Now I need to locate my CIS2 file it should be here and simply click open and the structure is successfully imported let's make the profiles visible here it is and from here you can continue analyzing the structure using SAP2000 ok let's save the model let's say the analysis has been performed and some of the, some of the profiles have been changed we're going to change them manually let's export the same CIS2 but now from SAP2000 and now we are going to try to import this CIS2 to SOLIDWORKS ok here I have my previous model of SOLIDWORKS now I'm going to close it and I'm going to create a new assemblies this time I'm going to import the structure from SAP2000 into an assembly Okay, now from the Buildworks toolbar, I need to choose Buildworks Import feature and select Import from CIS2. Here opens the dialog on the left of the screen. Here I need to browse for the exported STP file from the SAP2000. Here it is. Now I'm going to import it as well, Vents. Uh, SOLIDWORKS structural members model has no plates so this option is not necessary and I'm going to use the same CIS2 profile map file and simply going through the wizard This system allows me to map all the profiles one by one. You can see the previews being generated. Here in this step I can exclude some of the members. Let's say here I don't need these two burdens. click next in this dialog I can join the splitted members because this CIS2 came from analysis software here I will show you how to join few of the beams just simply by clicking the, all the segments along one direction and here we have two not divided members 
In the next dialog, I can group some of, some of the members into separate parts, or I can choose to create uh, separate parts for each of the members. Now, after I click OK, the structure is going to be imported. The last thing before importation is complete, the system offers me to review the mapped uh, profiles, if the mapping was OK. Some of the profiles, as you can see here, are not, ma are not mapped, and we need to do this manually. Simply by selecting the appropriate profile from the database. The preview is being constantly generated and we can review the structure. And the last profile. Also, here I can use the profiles from my custom libraries. from standard SOLIDWORKS developments libraries and after I click OK the final procedure is complete and the structure is being imported As you can see in the preview, first of all the sketch has been created and then structural members elements are being created. And as you remember we have changed two columns in the front here uh, inside SAP 1000. Presuming the analysis was performed. That's it. Here we have our structure updated regarding analysis results with the smaller profiles of elements this time. If we click to edit the feature we can see that the structural member is of the standard of this type and the size of IPA 200. From here I can work with the native SOLIDWORKS functionality. Let's say I can choose the bigger profile after quick order build this warning is gone. That's the main functionality I wanted to talk about in this video and thank you for watching and goodbye.